The Cherry Lane community continues to grieve as they mark nearly two weeks since the devastating shooting that claimed eight lives. On Friday, residents came together for a bonfire to honor the victims. In the meantime, the Clarendon police are ramping up their search for those behind the attack. Ramon Gordon reports. It's been almost two weeks since a tragic shooting rocked Terry Tree Lane in Clarendon. On that fateful evening, gunmen unleashed bullets at a local birthday party, leaving eight dead and several others injured. In a display of solidarity and grief, residents gathered Friday for bonfire to honor the lives lost. The event provided a space for collective mourning, but it also offered a chance for the security forces to give an update on the matter. So far, we've gotten persons um, charged and are before the court. And I'm just asking that you know, the support still continues. The Clarendon police are intensifying their efforts to apprehend those responsible for the August 11 massacre. Superintendent of Police Shane McCullough confirmed that while two primary suspects have been charged, the police are actively pursuing additional persons of interest. We have intelligence which suggests we will follow and we continue that type of pursuit until the culprits them, everybody who involved in this type of wickedness, face what they're supposed to face. You understand me? McCullough says among the top priorities is restoring a sense of peace in the community. We feel everything. I can tell you that came here the night and the images are real. You understand me? Because there should be nowhere in Jamaica where people cannot come out in the front of them yard. Because basically, this is the front of your yard. You understand me? It shouldn't be something like that happen. And we don't want anybody to continue to live in fear. At least one suspect has been killed in relation to the bloodletting. The event follows another recent mass shooting in Point Hill, St. Catherine, where at least seven people were shot, one fatally. Ramon Gordon for CVM News.